Well, we have quite a few claims in the, the local area. Most of these are claims that are either owned by our ally or somebody who is about to be eaten by our ally here. However, we do have a CB on his, uh, a doll here, and I think we might be able to manage it. So in the meantime, I have built up a few of these Kawa, Kawa infantry to uh, try to see what we can do about this. So what we are going to do here, and by the way, welcome back everybody to 1.32 here in Origins in EU4. Hope that everybody has been having a wonderful day so far, and I hope that you uh, continue to have a wonderful day. Now, the development here in our gold mine is going to be quite useful. Now, we don't have a navy, so that's going to be problematic, but my intention here is to essentially use this terrain, using the simple terrain map mode, by the way. Very useful tip. If you right-click down here, you can add more map modes to your um, map keys, and then your hotkeys will switch between them. So, super, super useful. Uh, 443 to a 533, mm. it's the same number of points, righteous, legitimacy. I'm okay with, uh, Solomon taking over. I think that's fine with me. Uh, I will not be able to click this button in the near, in the, in the me meantime, rather. So we're just going to sit back and wait on this. We're waiting on these guys to reinforce. It's going to take a little bit, but, uh, should be fine. Once they're done reinforcing, we should be in a good spot. How many did we recruit? Eight. Uh, sure. So we have a... Th Are you actually kidding me? Paradox, please. What is this? What? Okay, I take it back. 1.32 is a garbage batch, right? <laughs> All right, I, I need the prestige here. So we're not going to uh, disinherit quite yet. But uh, realistically, we're going to very soon. Let's turn that fort on here. Sadly, I don't have any other forts. And uh, our income is not going to be very... Uh, yeah, we're going to end up needing to probably take out some burger loans. Yeah, we already have a few. That's okay. Once we inherit these guys, the uh, gold mine over here will also be added to our country. So that income and it will be a free state. So that that is the way to do that. All right. So let's have these guys come over here and we'll go one more month here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split those armies, have these guys come over here. Now, what I'd like to do is uh, via a couple of scorched earth tactics, try to bait some lads into fighting us in our territory. That That's my goal here. So we're going to attack them. They're going to call in a bunch of people. Uh, luckily, it's mostly small province, small OPMs over here. Uh, and sadly, we are going to integrate our vassals during this war who have no forts either. So it's like we're going to get occupied a little bit and it's going to be irritating. But we're going to do what we can here. We're going to attack them. I'm going to scorch this province here and fall back into the fog of war. As well as scorch this province here. Fall back into the fog of war. Scorch this province here. So now we have a three row of mountain forts so hopefully they will come in here and also if they come onto my vassals well actually this vassal is about to get integrated so literally like next month sadly okay okay we do not need these guys to do that i'm actually going to delete them so i will add these very good yeah we're gonna end up taking out a loan or two and that is okay with me so I think what we need to do is actually get these guys down here. They're probably going to start uh, getting their armies prepared. What in the world? How is Yemen over here? I do not know. Oh, they're in a different war. Okay, well, that's good for us at least. This fort, I will scorch this fort. I know I'm spending my mill mana. It is okay with me. These guys are coming down here into the highlands. So let's see if we can actually tell them to not do that. Okay, perfect. So these guys are heading into this mountain fort and they are mountain province. They'll be there on the seventh. As long as we're there before that, we will uh, we will be able to win that. Be there on the seventh, huh? That's with our four maneuver guy. Mm, that's risky. All right, they changed their mind anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so now these guys are heading in here and they will be in that province on. What's this at? Oh, Alsa. Okay. So I'm just keeping an eye on these guys over here. We honestly just need to start scorching as many mountain provinces as possible here. Uh, we will take Advent Tech. That is totally fine with me. First idea group. We are ahead of time on Mill. 
or are we ahead? We're ahead by three years, so I suppose we can take at least one idea group, right? I am quite keen on uh, quantity. Quality's good, defensive. The extra manpower would be like super good. Aristo is okay. Offensive is also very good generally. I think I'm gonna go with my gut and hit quantity. That will give us that extra manpower boost, which is going to be very important in the long game. The sooner you take quantity, the better as well. Let's have you guys come over here. So Demot is Highlands, okay. So I can siege down a couple of these provinces over here. I'm not gonna get too upset about it. We can take our, uh, oh, we can convert, right. Uh, I'll save the money for now. A little bit of money can go a long way towards what we're working for. Okay, so these guys are just like, I can't decide where they want to go here. They're taking a decent bit of attrition, which is nice. So are we over here, actually. Okay. So it looks like their armies are starting to kind of like congregate, congregate down here. These forts, is this one scorched? This one is not scorched. Okay. So let's have these guys come over here. Scorch it. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm waiting for them to go into this defensive terrain over here. This will stop the integration of these guys, which is nice because that gives me an extra mountain or a highlands fort over here for defensive purposes. Now, okay. Also scorch this province here. Uh, they're heading over here. So this is a good fight here. Uh, we need to make sure we have our better general over there, though. So they are going to reinforce, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we win this. Oh, maybe? Okay, they fled. Very good. That means this cav unit is gone. Done and dusted. Most of those guys are fleeing, so that is a free fight there. Now, these guys are heading into my capital? Lasta. Where did you guys come from, huh? Let's get up here with these guys. Yeah, we're getting swarmed a little bit. To be expected, I suppose. Where are you guys heading here? Okay, they're heading up to this Lasta province. Now, they'll be there on the 13th, and we'll be there on the 12th. Perfect. Yes. Okay, this is actually good for us. Shift consolidate, and they will be there the day after us, and they will attack us into the mountains to cross the river. These are the types of fights you have to look for in, in wars like this, where the numbers are even or you're down. You have to take smart fights, right? That was a really good example of a good fight there. And uh, my vassal will start to, uh, you know, siege our stuff back, which is good. We have the ticking war score. Uh, so the main thing I want to look for in this war, because this war is going to be kind of a turning point for us. I want to take my core back here, and then I definitely want to take some forts over here. I would like to take this fort here, because this is a just a fort that uh, I would be taking from a rival. Sadly, I don't think I'll be able to take his capital, because that's going to be too much war score. But we'll see. I mean, if I can take all this over here, like in this state, the, conquer that state... We wouldn't get a coalition. That would be totally reasonable. A little bit of admin to spend, but, uh, you know, you'll have that whenever you're conquering land. We will see. We will see. Yeah, now, sieging down their capital is going to be the painful part of this. Now, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Let's see if we can get a merchant's guild. Very good. Simeon, get some base, get some dev over here. So let's do this here. That'll give us a little bit of money, which we can use to pay off one loan, this 4%er here. And then with the loyalty we got from here, we will take that away and we will go indebted to the burgers again, which will give us a ton of money. Very low interest. See, interest is only 0.4 a month. Uh, that is the way to do it, in my opinion. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly the best way to go about this. Hmm. I mean, we turtle. That's definitely the way to do it for right now. But, like, they're coming at me from multiple angles, and I have to kind of decide the best way to handle this. So they're going to be in friendly territory. Where are you guys heading here? This is Steps. Ooh, nice. Coming over here. Ah, they teleported a general in, sadly. But that's fine. We have our better general there. Integration is a slow process indeed. Where's their army at here? Definitely can't be affording that. But what I can't afford is this, um, 
product uh, province right here. The autonomy should go down, right? We shouldn't be sitting at 60. That would be outrageous. Hopefully it goes down. I'd be very surprised if it didn't. Get you guys up here. It stayed at 60. Really? Huh. All right, I guess. Let's uh, teleport our general in here and attack these lads. This is a, it's a even fight. Better general, so it's a good win for us. Heavy casualties on their side. Very solid. So, yeah, they're taking about, you know, we're taking about one-third the losses, which is very good. That's what we were looking for in this fight, in this war, rather. Just inflict as many casualties on them as possible. Their war exhaustion will go up. Ours will as well, but, um, you know, a good war in the beginning is is sometimes all you really, really need to, uh, to push you through. So we're playing slow, kind of required at this point. But our manpower pool is doing okay. So let's see if we can kind of bait these guys into heading into these mountain provinces over here. That's that's really what I want to do here. Okay, they're actually leaving, which is good. The stack up here is a little problematic. We're also running a little low on... Um... Let's get a couple of these Kawa infantry out of there. Yeah, let's just get rid of them so we don't have to pay for them. It'll save us some money as well. Um, yeah. I think that's worth paying for. Let's see here. Can we... Get, we already have a National Unrest guy. Jeez, oh, Pete. All right, we have a Manpower guy. Maybe it would be in our best interest to get a Morale of Armies lad here. And we are already focused on Mill, which is good. We're going to take this next Mill tech, of course. It's going to be very important for us. These guys are on 555. Five, five. We're on 445. Five, five. Okay. We're getting attacked here. Let's scorch that province there. And uh, they'll be in there on the 27th, and we can be there just after that. So that would be perfect for us. Yep, yep, yep. This is good. That means we'll be able to defend heavily against these lands. There you go. They just stack wipe themselves. Oh, my gosh. That's a big wipe, too. Now look at this. Scorched Earth is overpowered. Repeat after me, chat. Scorched Earth is overpowered. Do I need to do I need to explain this anymore? Look at this. Uh, this one isn't scorched, but Ah, they're reinforcing. But this is still an easy win. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these losses were inflicting. Ooh, wee. Yeah, they're still almost exactly uh 3 for 1. Very solid numbers. All right. Let's uh make sure we're keeping a some general split here as well. We have the war goal, so as, as long as these guys are losing men, they will continue to lose enthusiasm. Very solid numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, the debt, you know, a lot of people have this huge aversion to debt. I have a bit of an aversion to debt. These guys just... Wait a minute. They annexed my ally? <gasps> oh. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, that's going to be an easy full annex on them, probably. That's incredible. That AE is going to be a little punishing, though. Holy smokes. Okay. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. That's crazy, actually. All right, here they go. They're heading into my lands here. We're just going to chill and see if we can kind of bait them into going into provinces that uh, would be detrimental for them to go into. That are scorched, right? All these provinces... Oh, these, this province is not scorched yet. Okay. Okay. Just, I mean, they can siege some of this stuff down down here. This one I'd rather they didn't because this is our gold mine. But, um, you know, it is what it is. We're also looting these provinces, which is solid. It hurts them. Okay. As soon as these guys lock in over here, we'll attack them as well. And I will get down here and siege that back. That's a That should be a wipe. This four stack should just be gone for Yemen. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? What? Did I miss an enforced peace or something? Um, Questionable. Did I miss an enforced peace? Because that's what I'm seeing right now is the Mamluks in this war. 
Oh my gosh. That is uh, an automatic L then. That means we are guaranteed to lose this war and there's nothing I can do to get around it. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I certainly can't be asked to play, pay this, play this out. Oh my gosh, man. This is has, this is some sick joke. Let's get rid of a bad generals. Yikes, man. I just need to win a fight or two, get them on medium or low enthusiasm. They're on uh, 59 because relative strength of alliances has gone up so much. Really, man. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. This 10 stack over here is in trouble. Look at this. The Mamluks are contributing 38,000 infantry and 9,000 cavalry, man. This is uh, tragic, to say the least. I, I have no idea why they're in the war. If They may have enforced peace, and I just missed it, but um, yeah. Now I just need to get out of this war. Uh, get out of debt, that's fine. Yep, I'm in trouble. I just am trying to run away from these guys, man. Is that a one stack? Very good. It's a little bit of a insult to injury there. There's a 31 stack running there, man. Like, what do I do? I just need to flee as soon as I can. There we go. They're, they're still taking pretty heavy losses, so this is fine. But yeah, yeah. So, uh, this war... Uh, I'm very frustrated now. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're attacking them. But that should be a win. It's not scorched. So they're going to be able to get there in time, most likely. Yeah. Those guys won't be there till the 11th. So that's actually fine. Let's uh, scorch this province as well. But uh, we're done. This is it. So do they have a four maneuver? They do not. So let's, let's, uh, or three. Perfect. So this will give us our best general we have while also forcing them to take a minus two. So it's actually going to be a minus two for them. They have 58. Like, look at this, dude. What is the counterplay to this, man? Holy smokes. All right. Well, speed five it is because now we, we cannot get out of this war now. They want to annex half my country, bro. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, okay. Um... I really don't know what to do here. Obviously, we put you guys on defensiveness. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Tragedy has stricken, my friends. And I'm, uh, I'm honestly very flustered, if I'm going to be honest with you. Luckily, they're taking a decent bit of attrition. Oh, yeah, look at that. AI wants to uh, take a bit more attrition. Is this scorched? It is not scorched. These ones are, though. All right, let's just... Let's, uh... Like, what are you doing, man? They're attacking me across the strait here. They won't actually follow through that, right? Okay, I didn't think so. Okay, so this army will be there on the 7th of... Wait. Uh, okay. So as long, they'll be out on the 7th and the 11th if I wait one more day. All right, we scorched this, so they'll be slow to reinforce, but uh, that should be a win, actually. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a win. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is a five stack. I think we can... Oh. The minus one is painful, but... Uh, all right, we're winning battles still. We're still winning battles. I've lost 35,000 men. We still have manpower, though, which is great. But we've used up almost all those loans. We're going to end up probably going bankrupt for this war. There's not really much I can do about it either. So, sadly, I don't have any forts to take back my provinces either. These guys are heading... Oh, shoot. I would really like for them to go onto this fort. Okay, they're heading on to my capital again. They'll be there on the 14th. 
Shift Consolidate, of course. Oh, they uh, split off. So this five stack from these guys is going in to get stack wipe. Oh, just kidding. They changed their mind. Okay. So this 21 stack is coming down here to this Scorched Fort. So that's good, actually. Make sure everybody is entirely as strong as they possibly can. They have a two-star general there. A 6-1. Not bad, man. Good on you. Let's uh, get a little bit of extra oomph from here. So we're going to have those guys also jump out. There you go. Get an idea here. Uh, nope. I bet they have Miltech on me, don't they? No, they don't. If we could get this Miltech, that would be huge for us. How far off are we? Eh, we're not going to get it. No time soon. All right, well. Yeah, we're turtling. It says I'm losing, even though I've inflicted 90,000 casualties on them. We'll see how this goes here. Again, always shift consolidate before a battle. It tells your art regiments to put the most full full strength regiments in the front. That's how this works. So these guys are going to... Are they still going in? Looks like they are. Shift consolidate. The province is scorched, so they're going to be... Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is it. This is the last stand. There's literally not counterplay to this. Yeah. All right. Well, mm. I don't know what to do. I I missed it. If I the pop up if the pop up was there, I didn't see it, and uh, uh, the run might be gone already. The war was fine. The war was totally fine. We were gonna win until the Mamluks uh until the Mamluks intervened, and now there's you know. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Guess we do it again. We're at our force limit here. These guys are not going to be able to reinforce, so let's combine them. Let's get a few more men here. Being a little over our limit is not huge a huge issue. Where are you guys run into? All right. Put these guys on defensiveness as well. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't feel too hot about this one. Stab cost modifier. Very useful. Thank you. Let's have you guys and then you guys here. All right. So I doubt we're going to... Okay. This is not going to work. Okay. So those guys are locked in there. This is a 3-3 three, three general. We have a 3-2, so that's not bad. Uh, they have three maneuver, though, unfortunately. Let's, uh... We rolled another 3-2-3. Three, three. We need a good general, so I'm just gonna do it. Screw it. Being annoying. With that, uh, army professionalism, we can also slacken our standards. I don't need to, because we're on, a, like, a full merc army, but... The 3-5 might actually be better here. What's their maneuver? There's no river crossing here, so... We just want to use the most pips we have. 3-5 is probably the best we got, right? Yeah. Okay. So, how many generals? I need to get rid of a lot of them. I want to keep at least a couple of the guys with siege pips. Okay. So, this province is scorched, so they won't be able to reinforce it. Oh my gosh. They must have rolled really good there. Yeah. They had to have, man. There's a nine to my two. Or no, no, no. I rolled a nine to their two. Shoot, man. They took tech, didn't they? They did. All right, lads. Well. <sighs> I really don't know what to do here. If they take a bunch of my land... They're going to, like, demand, have these crazy demands. Like, they're going to basically demand to full annex me. So, if I can come up here and get the uh, war goal here. Before they occupy any of my forts. I might be able to uh, peace out with minimal losses here. Yeah, their uh, unrealistically high enthusiasm is not helpful. Let's also get a couple. Uh, I can't because it's occupied by them. All right. Take the mana, please. 
What is this siege ability, man? Jeez, oh, Pete. All right, we have them on what, minus two now. Wait, they added something? I'm so disappointed. I just really want to know why they uh, why they joined the war. Seven percent. All right, very good. All right, this is scorched. Let's get in there. We should wipe these guys out. They're gonna get off that siege there. They will not be able to reinforce this fight. Okay, I'm at a minus eight now. Why is it minus eight? I just won a big fight. Why is it minus eight if I just won a battle? I am so confused. I have no clue why I'm losing. Is it because of that blockade? They're not even blockading me. They're blockading provinces they occupy. I'm so frustrated. I don't have a say. I'm going to go bankrupt, too. All right. Well, you're going to lose our mana, so we might as well just... Um... Sink it into some production. Get that gold dev up there. Okay. The riches of Kaffa, apparently. Lose our autonomy. Oh, nice. And local goods produced for 25 years and 100. Well, I'm glad I could click that. Wipe out our loans, but we'll suffer some severe drawbacks. All right. So I suppose if we're going to do it. Yeah, I don't really think I have a say. Is there a reason why I cannot? Next to enemy armies. Okay. Oh, there we go. They got disbanded. Let's see if we can find some allies here. This is so absolutely infuriating. Yeah, I'm about to get attacked by these guys. I guarantee it. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Well, maybe the most frustrating episode I have ever played of this game. <laughs> uh, if you leave a comment and let me know if you guys saw the Mamlux enforced peace and I missed it, you know, that's on me, but, uh, I don't know why they were in there. I didn't see anything pop up, but, uh, we'll see. We will see either way, guys, if you guys enjoyed seeing me get my, uh, PP pee -pee kicked in, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not already and, uh, check out the discord subreddit, Twitter. They're all linked in the description below. And if you have it within your means and you want to support me, I have a Patreon linked in the description below. That's all I got for you for today though. This is Chewy Shoot and I will catch you guys later.